What's happening, kids? J Fingers. So the move is finished. I'm out of the old apartment. I'm in the new apartment. But because I threw away some furniture, uh, the new apartment is still pretty bare. But I shall rectify that within the next week or so. Any case, it is Thanksgiving Eve, and I'm going to see Queen and Slim. I was gonna see Queen and Slim tomorrow on Thanksgiving, but there was an opportunity that came up that I was able to take advantage of. So I'm seeing Queen and Slim tonight. So uh, it's about time for me to go. So I hailed an Uber to take me out to Hollywood so I could see Queen and Slim. All right, but before we hit the theater, Got to get a drink, a little drinky drink. Ended up stopping at a uh, elbow room, had a drink over there pre-game. Now it's time to catch this movie, baby. Queen and Slim, baby. So here at Arclight, lots of beautiful black people getting their tickets to see uh, Queen and Slim. We're seeing Queen and Slim tonight. And I'm also seeing a lot of familiar faces out here. This is, this is funny. There's a lot of what I'll say, um, aspirational black Hollywood here, which is cool, very cool. But I need two things. I need a beverage and I need a snack. So right now the mission is just to find seats. Everybody's trying to find oh, yeah. seats. And it's difficult to see the designation on the ground. Some of them are gone. <laughs> But it's just like if you know the alphabet, then you know it should be there, right? So right? I said if you know the alphabet, you know it should be there. But we in the building. <laughs> Looking forward to this. <laughs> Queen and Slim, yeah. And for the next two hours and 15 minutes, we were treated to what I'll say was a rebellious and righteous road trip romance. So yeah, it's still fucking raining. It does rain in Southern California. Anyway, Queen and Slim. That movie was powerful, man. Like, yeah, it's really good. Y'all should go see it. The acting is superb. It's a very stylish film. The soundtrack is great. And it really does, like, at the end, it hits you. You, you feel away. You definitely feel away. I enjoyed it. But I'm trying to get out this rain. And as I walked the rainy streets of Hollywood in search of shelter and perhaps a nice cold beverage, I found myself at the iconic Frolic Room. Oh, and if you're wondering why the Frolic Room sign isn't on, it's because it was raining. And when it rains, the sign might short circuit. In any case, I had several vodka sodas they're nice and delicious. Probably spent a little too much time at Frolic Room, but uh, it was worth it. It was worth it. I'm home now. <laughs> so now that I've seen Queen and Slim, what are my thoughts? I think that the film is a new classic, especially if, you're, if we're gonna talk about black film, it's definitely like a new classic. And I love the fact that it blends 
it's kind of you know arty sensibilities with uh, with commercialism because it's a movie you know you want people to see it so you got to sell a movie to a mass audience and I think that it blends those two kind of sensibilities very well you know it's emotional it's poignant it's um, it's funny it's sexy it's uh, it's just a really great film that really does kind of it kind of captures the essence of what it means to be black in America today and um, you know just what it means to to live your life even knowing that you could die at any moment or your freedom could be taken away from you at any moment if that makes any sense I really enjoyed the film I enjoyed it a great deal um, shout out to everyone involved I just would encourage everyone to check out Queen and Slim it's a beautiful film it's a beautiful film Queen and Slim is the type of movie that I want to make I enjoyed it so Queen and Slim Go check it out.